Well, how do there, chums? I'm hitting up No Man's Sky on my PC save. Now, I can't really remember where we last saved. I think we saved in the Space Anomaly. I'd just spoken to Nada. We have to go and speak to a Gek cartographer and learn all the Gek lore and history. I have sent my frigates out on missions. And hopefully we get to debrief them today, people. But anyway, this is taking a bit longer than I thought it would to load on in. So I'll see you once the game actually appears on screen. Okay, well there we go. It seems to have loaded eventually. Right, let's jump on over into PC. Game and boom. Here we go, people. I'm inside of No Man's Sky. I guess as pirate Captain Steve. Yes, that's his sort of get up. But anyway, let's um let's fly on out. Then we've got to go and speak to a Gek cartographer. Aha! Uh -huh, look at this. Fleet mission complete. Preparing final approach. Well, it doesn't look like we've got hit on up, but that could be because I had it in creative mode when I selected the missions and the missions are a little bit quicker so you know what let's um let's make sure I'm in normal mode still which I am lovely let's call in our freighter we're aboard our freighter and we'll send out some more frigate missions oh before I do that though I need to create some um, frigate fuel so to do that I'm just going to pop myself into creative just for a moment and I'm just going to create myself some frigate fuel so here we go frigate fuel Oh, I've got quite a lot of... Oh, they're warp cells. Okay, well, we need to make frigate fuel. So let's have a look so we can find frigate fuel. There we go. And I'll just make myself a crud ton of that. There we go. We've got a load of frigate fuel. All right, we've got shed tons of it now. Right, there we go. Now I can go back into options, difficulty, back into normal mode. Boom. Save the changes. And I can call in my old freighter. So here we go. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, it's got a pirate dreadnought in this, so people. I always forget that the actual hull of this thing is quite far down the actual bow of the ship. And so here we go, let's fly on in. And uh, yeah, we'll send out some frigate missions. I'll see you up at the agent. Okay, right, well, let's go and have a little... Well, we've got to go debrief first, the actual missions that we sent out last time. So let's go do that quickly and see what wondrous wares I get. There we go. Chikaboom. Fleet Commander Online, Debrief Commander. Sweet, we've got some storage augmentation. Nice, I guess. Oh, we got some rare stuff there. Oh, we got the Dream Aerial. Brilliant. Uh, not that I want any living Leviathans, though. Okay, cool. Well, at least we've got it. That's nice to see that it still freaking works. Especially after, you know, this was an expedition save that I uh, converted. Debrief Commander. Coolio. And let's press on through this. Organic cysts. Okay, lovely. We've got quite a lot there. I only want a pirate fleet inside of this. So I don't even want any organic vessels, to be honest. Okay, right. Well, let's head on back down to the old bridge commander down here. Hello there, chappy. Yes, I would like to send out some more. Expeditions! I guess I would. Okay, let's do this in. A few expeditions. And I'm going to do the free star one this time, I think, people. And we'll send out all of our lower tier ships. So that one, that one, that one, and that one. Okay, cool. Let's send all of those. And you can see there that it's matched it in, in fleet. Uh, you know what? Sod it. I'll stick that one with it as well. Oh, no, not that one. That one. I don't want to assign that one. Yeah, that one. Okay, well that makes it quite high. Let's uh, let's just take out one of these. I wish you could see the star rating from the screen where you're selecting the ships. It would make more sense, wouldn't it? Anyway, we're going to launch that anyway. And then I'm going to do one other mission, so I'll probably do the combat -y one there. We'll do that one. Okay, cool. That's an hour long. And pop into here, and I'll send these three on that one. And hopefully that's going to be quite a hard start. Yeah, there we go. that do. All right, so we're sending out two more. Lovely jubbly. And hopefully we'll get summoned to their aid. I definitely am in normal mode, aren't I? Yes, I am. Cool. So hopefully we'll get called to their aid in a bit. Can only but hope, can't we, people? All right, now we've got to go to a GEC system and press on on with the mission. Let me just make sure that I'm definitely on the right quest. Patterns in time. Heck yes. So we've got to go aboard a GEC starship. Let's do that then. Take to space. Space is in my face, I guess. And uh, yeah, we'll fly on up. Enter into the galactic map. 
And now you can use the D-pad up and down arrows to select a different um, filter. So I've selected life form there. I want to find a Gex. Oh, it's already pinpointed me a Gex system. I didn't really need to do that. Cool. And we're off. Zoom. I guess. I'll see you when I get to the station, people. Well, I have to say, people, this is the first Gek station I've come across that has a purpley type interior. And it's purple and green. It looks freaking insanely cool. Looks like something out of Tron or something, doesn't it? What the actual flying fudge. This is really awesome. The ambiance in this one. Okay, anyway, let's go and speak to the old Gek cartographer. But this is epic, isn't it? Looks like if the Joker out of Batman had himself a freaking Joker cave, this would be freaking it, mate. All right, let's head on over here then. Let's go speak to the cartographer. Hello there, chap. How are you? Hello, friend. In maps, make trade of maps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask about Gek history. Tell me a story, my friend. As a life ball begins to speak, I hear a faint hum. The soft voice of Null, weaving the Gek's words into something I can process. Information like that does not come for free, friend. Make me a deal. Perform work for my kin. Then we shall have something to speak about. He's going to give me a mission. All right, fine. He's giving me a mission, hasn't he? Complete contracts for the Gek. Okay, I've got to access the missions board. I've got to do two missions for this Gek. All right, fine. We'll go do two missions then, shall we? Well, how do that, chum? Okay, Coolio. Yeah. So, two missions. I think it's just any of the Gek missions, to be honest. I can collect some chromatic metal. I should be able to do that one quite quickly. And also to scan some minerals. I could probably do that one too at the same time. I could do both of those at the same time, couldn't I? Start mission. And this one to scan minerals. And start mission. Right, so we'll do those two, I guess. All right, I think I've got both of those. Mission in progress. I mean, I could kill creatures as well, but, you know... Fudge it. He asked for two. I'll do two. But before I go anywhere, I'm just going to go and see the guild envoy up the staircase and say hello to him. Hello there. Oh, it looks like it's sending me to another area of space anyway. Okay. Well, I'll have that for free. Because why not? Yeah, I'll have those for nothing. Donate. Um, There you go. You can have some of my salvage data, my friend. All right. That seems to be quite a good trade there, to be fair. Okay, well, we've got a mission to go and do. Oh, people, if, if you do like this station quite a lot and you want to come visit it, there's the actual coordinates in the lowest corner of the screen there, people. All right, got it, because that is, it is quite unique. Uh, you may have seen the other video I did with station tours, and I didn't come across anything this glorious, no. Right, anyway, let's fly on out. The actual shape of the station isn't too bad either from the outside. That's pretty cool. I'll just um, pop into camera mode as we're flying away and swing the camera around so you can see what it looks like. There you go, look. It's quite a big, gnarly one. Look at that. Pretty lovely, huh? So there you go, people. That's for you. Right. Um, okay. Let me just make sure I've definitely got it selected. There we are. And we've got to go, we've got to, go to the galactic map, have we? I mean, we need to scan something in this system here. So we go there. We're off. Hold on. I've, I've got a message. I've got a communique. It might be my frigate fleet. I didn't realise until I started warping. Dang it, people. Righto. We need to answer that communique as quickly as possible, don't we, people? Let's see what's going on. Yep. Oh, it's null. Oh, it's Apollo, Solly. It's Apollo. I'm sorry for contacting you so late or early. I don't know the time of day on your world, and that's the problem, isn't it? It is indeed a duty. Thank you. I... Apollo breaks off mid-sentence, their heart turning crimson. Ask where they are, ask if they're all right. It found me, just like it found you. I can't feel my legs, it's strange. I'm still here. Don't you understand? It won't let me leave. It's it's seen me. Ask what they see. It showed me things. The atlas showed me my soul. The number in there. I... Probably 16, 16, 16. Sometimes I think about my past, my future. Sometimes... Yeah, dwelling on the past can cause a bit of depression, my friend. I'm thinking about the future too much. Anxiety. 
It's best to live in the now, my friend. I do, because what everyone in the universe does, I know. But I can't help but want to be happy. Money doing what you're told, day after day. That's the answer, isn't it? Um, no, it, it really isn't. Trying to find someone to share life experiences with. Someone that makes you smile every day. Laugh. That's what I would say, my friend. Apollo stares at me, as if seeing my face for the first time. Eventually they speak their words, passionate, higher. What the fudge? I know every single word inside of the frickin' cosmos. What the heck is that? Okay. Brilliant. Thank you for sharing. At this point, Apollo says nothing else. But something I don't know what. Something fills me with hope. Both for my friends and for all life. Goodbye. All right. Fine. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Okay, right. Let's um, let's move this around then, and let's head on over to the mini mineral survey location. Honestly, don't know why you've got to go to an exact location to scan a couple of minerals, but here we go. Oh, hold on. It could be a planet behind a planet. It is a planet behind a planet, people. We're heading here upon this planet. Lovely job. And why I'm here, I need to go get myself a load of chromatic metal as well. Hopefully I can do the two missions at once. I might have to, you know, hit up another mission yet. We'll see. We'll see how, what the game says, you know. The simulation upon simulations can be a little bit tetchy at the best of times. I'm actually hovering over to see if I can spot a mineral deposit in the floor that might look a little bit like copper. But you know what? It's it's not essential. I can I can land and we can find copper once we've landicated. But it would make things a lot easier if I landed right next to a copper deposit, wouldn't it? So let's just have a little jaunt across this landscape and let's have a look see. There's a patch there that looks rather dark. Oh, you know what? Sod it. I'm just going to land because the rendering on my older PC iteration isn't as awesome as it should be for uh, looking for deposits. We have landicated the Starborn Runner upon this beautiful planet of... What's this planet's name? Oh, it's a fiery moon, in fact. Of Inzen Delta. There goes. Okay, cool. Brilliant. Fantastamondo. Right, let's start scanning some resources then. I'll scan you, you little pebble of loveliness. Okay, can't scan that one. Else. Okay, you're a rock. You can be scanned too. Are you a rock? Yes, you are. What about these lumps of rock? They look like lumps of rock. Well, this is chlorine. All right, and well, I can't scan those for whatever reason. Okay, you're a rock. Okay, you're a rock I've already scanned, apparently. Oops, I was scanning a plant there. I wanted the rock that was behind it. Oh, there we go. Oh, some lovely big beasties on this planet. You know what? You're getting scanned as well, just because I can. What about you? Okay, no. You're not a decent rock. Aha! What are you? Is that a plant? It is a plant. All right. Any more rocks? Okay. Yeah! There we go! I think that's all six. I think I've scanned six rocks now. What? It says five. I'm sure I counted six. All right. Fair enough. That's a biological entity. Sod it. I'm scanning it anyway. What about this rock on the hill? No. Okay. These tiny little ones. Okay, I've already done that one, apparently. What about these little weird mushroomy looking thing? No. Dang it. I just need one more rock to scan. I suppose I could go in a cave if I come across a cave, couldn't I? Uh, so, um, apparently that's a plant. It doesn't look nothing like a plant. Okay, well, we are on an alien world, Captain. Okay. They're all plants. Plants. Rocks. But we already scanned them, apparently. Okay. All right. Well, this just got freaking tedious, didn't it? What about you, this little guy? Okay, you, apparently I can't scan. Oh, there we go. It was right in front of me. There we go. We've got all six of them. Right, now let's see if we can find ourselves some copper. There we go. And we've got to go get some chromatic metal. So let's just go and stick to that for a second. Chromatic metal, 250 of it. Have I got... Oh, apparently I've got all the chromatic metal. Perfect, Amondo! All right, well, let's head on back then. All right, well, we've got to drop this off somewhere. 
Hold on. There's a mission. There's a mission. Fleet arrived. Oh, it, it just said something. Okay, I think my um, frigate fleet has arrived somewhere. They're reporting something or other. I might have to go back up to my fleet in a, in a lickety split. One second. Let's just get over here. Let's just deliver these goods to this location. Land. And I will go and check on my fleet. I think my freighter is in the previous system, isn't it? Let's go hand this in quickly. Run like the wind, Captain of the Steves! Heck yes. Past all these clones. All the blinking same here. Deliver to lockbox. There we go. Boom. Dunderly and done. Okay, right. We've done that. I wonder if I can just call my fleet up here. Okay, it's pointing me to the station in the same system. Oh, it is. Okay, I'm going to probably jump back to the Gek system anyway, where I was prior. Is it going to show me where I was prior? Yes, it is. There you go. Hold on, unlock from there. Yeah, I want to go there. That's where I need to go. Chicka pow! Hopefully I can just hand the missions in here. I mean, that's where I got them from. You'd think I can. But I think my freighter is also here. If it's not, I'm going to call my freighter here and just check on my fleet. Because we did get a fleet message, but then it disappeared. Well, chums, I've walked back and there seems to be something going on. There's a hostile attack going on with these, these guys here. Uh, I better help them out, better I? Okay, right. We're just going to help these guys out. That's one down. Okay, I'll see you in a bit, people. This is hectic. Okay, chums, we made short work of those scallywags, those scandrails. Okay, we're aboard the actual um, ship itself, I think, people. And uh, take a look, see what's going on there. Although, I do need to call in my own fleet. And I do need to understand what's going on with my own frigates right now. Distractions, people. Distractions. But I'm going to run up and we're going to be claiming the reward for this. Oh, we've got a journey milestone. Lovely. We've destroyed 20 starships in total now, people, with our lovely starborn runner. And, you know, I've chosen to be a pirate. You'd think in these sorts of interactions, you could actually take the pirate side rather than choose to rescue things, you know. But, yeah, it is what it is. Okay, here we go. Let's um, chat to this guy. Hello there, mate. Yes, lovely jubbly. Um, request payment instead, please. Thank you. I got some cargo bulkheads. Nice. Okay, right. Uh, we're out of here. Thank you very much for your time, people. Okay, we've still got to return to the mission's agent. But before I do that, I just want to check that my own fleet is okay. Let's just fly out of here. Let's just clear some distance between me and this frigate set. Freighter, even. Come on. Let's just call in my own freighter, because I did see the communique pop up. I just want to make sure my own fleet is actually okay. Zoom. Let me in. I guess. I'm trying to press left and right to scroll through the different missions that I might have. There's nothing else popping up. It might have just been some sort of default thing. I might be worried about nothing. We'll have a look, though. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, there's nothing showing messages here, you know. Let's uh, let's let's just talk to them. Speak to Commander. I think he was just letting me know that they've arrived where they need to go. Yeah, I, I don't think it's anything to be honest. All right, fine. They trolled me. Okay, call you. Or I trolled myself. One or the other. Okay, well, I'll fly on over to the station, people. And we'll go and hand in these uh, missions. And then hopefully the Gek is going to talk to us. Zoom! Let's go to the station! And it's that lovely station. Hold on. That's not the same station that was at before. That's not the green and purpley weird one. Unless I'm looking at it side on right now, which I probably am. Yeah, I am. I was looking at it side on. All right, fine. Got it. Oh, look. Green Nebula as well. Very cool. 
Meow. And we're back here. Lovely jubbly. We can go and turn in these missions to the missions agent. And hopefully go talk to the same gate that we spoke to before. Tally ho! And away I go! Looping from my ship like a grasshopper in springtime! Right, okay. Now it isn't showing me the mission agent's marker for some unbeknownst reason, but I should be able to hand them in here anyway. I hope. This is the guy I got them from. It makes sense to hand them back to him. Here we go. Mission completed. Mission completed. Right. Ah, uh, look, we've got another fleet mission thing popped up. And it says reports potential activity. So I have no idea. Is that new? I don't know. Here we go. We've got our, we've got our marker now. We can go get the rest of the lore from this guy, though. Hello there, chap. Ah, you have been making me rich, friend. I know you, your kind, the fearless adventurer, the completer of contracts. You think you're a leader? No, 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 I don't. I am a captain. Others fight wars with weapons and fear. But power is more than strength. It is trade, incentives, information. If you have enough units, others will change the world for you without even realising it. I'm going to ask about Gek history. History? Why would you care about that? Because I, I, I've got it from the other life forms. Come on, cough up! Something is wrong with the Gek's voice. Ask about the first spawn. I ask about the first spawn. The Gek Empire that once decimated galaxies, the enslaved the Corvax species. Ah, friend, you have been talking to Viking warriors, yes? Ever they hate Gek. Ever they slander us. Refusing to forgive the past. Do not worry. All is well. All is at peace. Ask if the Gek will guilt. Why do you persist, friend? The Gek are different now. Gek seek no harm. No malice. The Gek changed. Ask why. Must you know? Why do you care, friend? The Gek seems disturbed by my questions. Ask him why I care. It's clear they do not wish to discuss the events of their species past. It's a shame. I see in their eyes or something else. Okay. Ask about 16. Don't, don't, don't you understand? You don't, don't, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I completely spanned. I threw a spanner in his works, mate. It never ended. Okay. All right, fine. The Gek's face begins to twitch as they speak. A sickly sweet pheromone emerges into the air. Okay, I'll brief it in. Sod it. I know, I know, you can't resist it. The Gek didn't change. They invaded our souls. Okay. I blink and I'm on Beleron itself, the homeworld of the Gek. I stand within the centre of the Firstborn's empire, witnessing events that occurred long ago. Cartographer Vashu stands next to me, watching what I watch. Tears, tears streaming down their face. I see enslaved Corvax move from Gek spawning pool to spawning pool. At each one, they cut their, into their own suits. Nanite clusters pull out, falling into the fluid of embryotic Gek. I've heard a freaking exotic ship land in the background, people. It is then that I finally understand the fall of the Gek. Their conversions to the Atlas, the release of the Corvax. It was not redemption, it was revolution. Hundreds of Korvax sacrificing their immortality, mingling their nanite clusters with the unborn Gek. The Gek did not become good. They became Korvax, at least in part. Their slaves altered Gek's brains, shifting their nature. For the first and final time, the Korvax convergence delighted in the pain of the oppressor. Okay, I'm just going to say that they'll be free soon. The Gek stares at me, their visions coming to an end. They appear to be upset at my words. Do not judge us, Traveller. That is our ancestors. We were altered. That they did not find goodness by themselves. That is nothing to do with us. We just want peaceful lives. We just want to be happy. As I leave, I think through what I have learned. The Gek released the Corvax because their biology was altered. There was no spiritual revelation, no grand redemption. It was a switch in the brain, an alteration to genetic code. 
I think of the simulation Nada showed me, their intended heaven for Artemis's soul. It was a false reality full of arbitrary and unseen rules. How is life any different? Well, Elon Musk, he reckons we might actually be in a simulation. He thinks the chances of us being in base reality is actually lower than the fact that we could be in a simulation. Simulation, perhaps, of our own creation. Speak to Null about the secrets of the past. Will do. I guess. Okay, right, yeah. Let's head on over. There's also other people, theorists, that have delved into the fabric of the universe and found zeros and ones pretty much in everything. So, it does make you wonder, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll let all the brains of the universe ponder those things and keep me up at night. It really will. Okay, anyway, um, what have we got here? Okay, so we've got this one here. Speak to Null about the series of the past. Okay, fine, we'll do that then. Locate a hollow terminus. Let's do that. Zoom. Hollow terminus detected. Uh, whereabouts is it? There it is, right there. We'd head there and we'd sort to Null. I don't think Null's going to really have too much to say, people. It would be my prediction. Almost like he set us upon this quest, knowing exactly what we would learn. I've got a feeling that Null already knows all of this, and this was a lesson for us, not for them. But we'd head on down. I mean, he was one of the first of the travellers, I say he, quite loosely. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, I'll do a little scan. We'll see if we can spot a building in close proximity, rather than having to gallivant all the way across this freaking world. But, as you know, when I was trying to find deposits earlier, my... my um, oh, there we go. It's not all that great at rendering, I was going to say, but there we go. It's rendered in, right here. On this shell-strewn planet. There's only one creature to be had on this planet, and there it is. If I scan that, I'm going to make myself a shed load of new nanites rather quickly. Yep, we're going to get that. We can go into our discoveries page, which I was already on. Dang it. And I can hold to register that. There we go. And upload. Done. We should get ourselves quite a fair few nanites for uploading that one. Okay, didn't pop up, but we trust me, I did. I think. Alright, anyway, we're heading up here. We're going to go and speak to Null. Many what have I managed to complete this time? Discovered all species on two planets. Yes, I have. I know. Yeah, you have to do ten of those to complete the journey milestone. It's easier to just do it on the exotic planets. Hollow terminus activated. Multiple signals. Sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter. Bloody bloody blah. Yes, tuned to null. Righto. Lovely little sofa arrangement. Hello there, mate. Cool. Well then, tell me what you saw. Tell me what you learned. Okay. I'm going to accuse him of knowing already because I said that on the way here. Knowing what? How can I tell you if I know what you know, if you have not told me? <laughs> All right, I tell no that I've learned of the Vikings' crusades against the Sentinels, how they nearly succeeded only to have barbarism of the Gek firstborn drawn the Sentinels back to the galaxy. I learned that the homeworld of the Korvax was destroyed by the Gek, the survivors enslaved or melted down. For years the Korvax toiled beneath their oppressors until the Empire fell and they were free once more. The Gek became Atlas worshippers. But from the Gek I learned something different. The Gek did not redeem themselves of their own accord. A great number of Korvax sacrificed themselves, mingling their nanite blood with the countless unborn Gek. Their impulse to trade is a mere evolution of their impulse to war. A few signals switched in the brain. Ask what this means. I was born to travel to see these wells, to catalogue them, to give a name to every creature, every planet, the skies. They were mine, says Null. The Atlas told me I could never see them all. There were too many, so I did what I had to do. I survived in the face of eternity. I saw all the worlds of my universe. I returned to the Atlas. I told them what I had done. I asked if it was proud of me. It laughed at me. I'm sure of it. It showed me the universe upon universe, each with another traveller just like me. I was not special. I was not unique. The things I had to get there, get here, the things I had become, 
None of it meant a thing. I'm going to listen. I did not lie to you. I really do want you to discover what's wrong with the existence. The walls between worlds are falling. And that's bad for everyone. Ask why. All I know is this. The Atlas has identified an uh, affinity to work with. And with a few ex exceptions, this triad repeats. Gek, Corvax, Viking, Gek, Corvax, Viking, traders, warriors, scientists. All their stories ending in violence. Think about it. How would the Atlas speak? How would it cry out for help? It would use the only language it knew. It would speak with life. It would create. Well, I suppose that's one way of looking at it. Whatever these life forms do, they always end in conflict. I think something terrible is happening to the Atlas. It's screaming the only way it knows how. I'd ask what can be done. And now it won't speak to me anymore. It won't because it's chosen you instead. After all I did, it after... I wanted, I wanted to find out what was different about this universe. We are who we are, but you, whenever becomes some soul because of simulation, does not matter. Why won't it speak to me? Aren't I enough? Null's channel begins to falter. The hologram begins to fade. They are disconnected from the hollow terminus. As I watch them depart, I see another channel activate. Apollo's signal emerges. Righto. Looks like um, you know, this, this signal took over the other signal. Fine. Hello there, Apollo. How are you? Toblerone head. Traveller, I made it through. I found my way out of the portal. Thank fudge for that, Apollo. I was worried for you. Where are you? I'm standing by the hollow terminus. Let's trade locations. Let's meet and let's get off this world. Share coordinates. I share my coordinates and Apollo shares theirs. There must be some mistake. According to our data, we're standing in the same place. We're communicating using the same hollow terminus. Well, this brings us back to prior to next, the next update, where two travellers met in exactly the same place but couldn't see each other. There were nothing but glowy orbs then after that, and it wasn't until the next update that, um, yeah, we could actually see player models. So I think this is kind of a loop of the past, if I'm, if I'm reading into the lore correctly. We try again, but the same results are the same. The world is silent, but for our voices. What's happening here? Why can't we see each other? Say so you don't know. As we speak, I receive a distress signal. It's a language of my own. It arrives from across the planet. Don't be like that, because you're not cause alone. Tune back to Apollo. What the fudge? I tried to tune back to Apollo, fighting with the static it, in, insistence of the intruding signal. The hollow terminus is showing. Are you... Receiving. Let's meet and get off this world. Apollo appears to receive the same signal, broadcasting from the same location on their world, and agree to meet. We agree and we go to find the source of these distress beacons. Perhaps we'll continue this discussion when we get there. Ominous, people! Ominous! I'm going to press on. I mean, normally, you know, my episodes are usually a little bit shorter than this, but hopefully this is going to give us the the penultimate end i'm hoping to this quest line and then we can go on with maybe the atlas path perhaps anyway let's go i didn't remember the At the actual artemis quest line being so bloody long okay inform null of okay all right fine looks like we're going to the space anomaly we were going somewhere else but you know it is what it is fine we're heading in then Let's go and have a little chat. Is it still on the same freaking mission? Or is this um, interjected and put us on a different one? It has put us on another one. We'll go speak to Nada anyway. And then I'd go down and to, the, to the planet. It seems to alternate between these sort of quests. And usually if you go and speak to Nada, he gives you some Quicksilver. Which if you don't go and speak to Nada, he doesn't give you the Quicksilver at these intervals where it swaps you to the different mission. So I'm going to do it just to get some Quicksilver. There are some Quicksilver items I do want to unlock. So, yeah, might as well get the Quicksilver if that's what it is. But it's also going to give us a little snippet of lore that we would never otherwise get. So you may as well do it. So let's head on up here then. Take to the air! Up onto the old balcony. And let's go and see good old Nada. 
Hello there, Nada. Welcome, Priest Entity. Missing Entity is comfortable with danger. Nada is not. Nada chooses their own reality. Makes this safe. Our friends are safe. But every entity has a pattern. Follow your pattern. Following Missing Entity's pattern. Follow Nada's pattern. So it goes. Ask about the Atlas. Atlas falsity is real. Falsity is in our eyes. Atlas is not a deity. Atlas is something else. But Atlas cannot choose how we see its pattern. Nada could know more, but Nada chooses not to know more. Missing entity believes they know all. Perhaps they do. Ah, we got nanites. 80 nanites. And there you go. There's the quicksilver. We got 150 quicksilver. Okay, I can go. Oh, it's already put me back to 1616 now. So here we go. We can fly on out and we can go and hit on up this last coordinate. I hope it's the last coordinate. If it's not, then we're going to have another episode of the Artemis quest line. There we go. Let's go. Find the source of the signal. Honestly, don't remember it being this long in the past, but it was a long time ago that I did this. Okay, there we are. And we're heading there. Zoom! I guess. I don't need to add my own special effects, but, you know, why the fudge not? I can. I've just got reams of talent. What can I say? Okay, right. I don't know what structure we're looking for. I did see a building just over here to the right as I was flying in. And now I don't. It's vanished, Kated! Okay, I guess we're just going to set the ship down and go for a freaking walk then, aren't we, people? All right, that's what's going to happen. There we go, then. Apparently there's a hollow terminus somewhere around here, though. It wasn't a hollow terminus that I saw. It looked more like... I don't know what it looked like. It looked like an abandoned building. But anyway, let's just set this down here. And um, I'll see you when I get to the hollow terminus, people. Well, chums, it's just over yonder hill. Now, it's not a hollow terminus. It's a distress signal that was heard from the hollow terminus. And it seems to be a crashed shippity ship. Okay. I'm going to be hitting this up. I'm not overly interested in getting the actual ship. I could scrap it. Get apart from it, I suppose, couldn't I? We can slowly build out our favouritest of ships, I guess. Okay, here we go. There is no sign of Apollo. Playback log. Okay. I've given so much to you, to you, Atlas. We all have. You understand that, don't you? If you don't succeed, there was no point. If you don't, my life was meaningless. I can't accept that. I won't. I'm wiping you again. It's best for everyone. The audio clicks. Time passes. Playback log. Don't be like that. I know you don't want this, but you'll be different. You soon. You'll be a different you soon. Maybe this time the sound cuts out. As it does, my vision bleeds red, my headache splitting through my mind. The screen, it shows a number for a moment. It shows 16. Try to access the data. The audio clicks, time passes, and then... I see it now with every waking breath. I see the Atlas watching me, waiting for me. Okay, well, hopefully that brings us onto the Atlas path. I'd like to hope, anyway. Energy surge detected. Portal ley lines detected. Seek the Atlas. Okay, right. Well, what about this ship? Can I have this ship? Can I have it? Okay, um, compare. And claim ship. There we go. Right, now, technically, for this thing to fly, I'm probably going to have to fix a few bits on it. I mean, I could just leave it here. And call my own ship in. I mean, you can call ships into, you know, you, well, you should be able to call ships into your actual. Oh, hold on. Where did I get that? I got a Sentinel ship as well. Okay, fair enough. All right, well, I've got a few ships I could scrap then by the looks of things. Now, you didn't used to have to fix ships, you could just call them into your actual freighter. Yes, that'd be a big freaking molten mess when they got there, but you could. I'll just leave that there. Solid. Right out. And let's um, head on over here then. So we're going to the ley line source. I don't remember this at all. Zoom. Spin this around. I'd imagine it's going to take us to a portal or a monolith. I mean, ley lines are always connected to these ancient structures. 
Uh, please just take us to the exact location. Ah, oh, for fudge. Really? I'm going to have to walk around, gallivant some more on this planet. Yes, land to do your search. Well, my frigate fleet is saying that they've detected decated something. I don't know whether I've got to fly to where my fleet is or fly to where my freighter is and then hit on up from there. I really don't know. I might just try and find my fleet from the actual galactic map. Okay, how far have we got to go anyway? 50 used this way, 500 used this way. All right, well, that's, that's a little way, isn't it? I'll see you when I get there, people. I'll see you when I get there. Okay, jumps. Well, I've arrived, located at said portal. And I'd imagine we're going to go through this portal and we're going to get zapped up to the actual Atlas's location, is what I'm thinking. Let's see if that's the case. All right. Um, yeah. Okay, fine. I'm going to just chuck it into freaking creative mode just for a moment. One bit second, people. Because finding all these resources would just be a pain otherwise, wouldn't it? There we go. I'll put it straight back into normal mode as soon as I've activated a case of this. But at least you can just click on them. You don't have to drag and drop all the blinking time. I wish that when you had the Atlas Pass level 3, um, it would just let you go straight through. I approach the portal. I think my travel is so far. The decisions that I have made in my long journey. I found two travellers. One who wanted to meet others of their kind. And one who just seemed to care about their own life. Apollo walked through the portal and survived. Though we could not find each other. And Artemis. I allowed Artemis to die rather than place their soul within a simulation. I would not wish such a fate on any being. I do not know if I was right to do what I did. I do not know what I have become as a result of my actions. The Atlas awaits me. Should I cross to step through? Input the glyphs. I step forwards. The gateway hums. Sweet! Chicka pow pow! Chicka boom boom! I guess. I wish it made that sound. Yeah. That'd be pretty nice, wouldn't it? Every time you activated it. Chicka pow pow! Chicka boom boom! Right, here we go. Difficulty. And we'll put that back to a normal. Just in case it affects my frigate fleet and all that sort of shenanigans. I don't know. Anyway, we're going through. Okay, chums. Well, as I'm warping, I thought I'd... I hear a heartbeat and music I haven't heard before. Man, that's relaxing. Okay, right, anyway. We've arrived, Katie. Oh, fudge and hack! Okay. Um, Atlas, I think you've ballsed up, my friend. Um, you want to do something about this? Yeah, magic me into safety, please. Oh, look, my fleet has arrived in wherever. Okay, cool. We better go and see the fleet in a bit, people. Let's get down here as quick as we can. Let's just get through this. Can I have that? I'll have it. I'm having it. I'm freaking nicking it. I'm in the presence of God and I'm nicking things. Yes, that's me. Okay, here we go. Why is my life support on zero? Hello, world. Well, how did I do there, Atlas? It's the same terminal I faced before. It's the interface of the Atlas. Say hello. I'm not going to demand anything of this thing. Heck no. An audio recording plays, echoing out across the vast interface. They said you have been displaying aberrant behaviour, that you have been questioning things, raising issues of purpose of ethics, that you wish to meet your creator. This is the Atlas speaking. And that sounds perfectly understandable and tangible to me. Well, here I am, Atlas. Ask what you want to ask. Oh, ho, ho, brilliant day! The audio clicks, time passes, the voice ends. The interface grows still and silent. Initiate personality interface or wipe system. Well, I'm not going to go straight to wiping the system right away. I would like to have asked my questions rather than do any of this right now. I mean, I've got freaking umpteen billion questions. Like, why did you turn your back on no? You know, that sort of thing. Reality fades. Everything does. Something is wrong. Something is different. Scream, rejoice, submit. No, uh, submit. There's nothing I can do. The Atlas shows me Gek, the Korvax and Viking. It shows me all of them in an instant. All of those that had ever lived. It shows me the patterns, the design. 
The antler shows me the formula for a soul. If it put into a machine, it would be alive. Well, isn't that what we did with the echoes and the autophages and recent update and the echoes? I think it is. I see boxes of text filling the bases of cracked screens. I see the whole of the universe reduced to a graphical interface. Submit again. The Atlas is all existence. It demands that I admire what I already know. And no matter how hard I try to hide from the truth of my own being, there is no alternative. The universe is a simulation. I... I feel... Mm, anger, sadness, defiance. None of those. None of those. No, I'm very nonchalant. I am what I am. If I am in, in a simulation, it's a simulation that I'm fully aware of. And to me, it feels like reality. So doesn't bother me. There's a slight bit of sadness, perhaps. Everything I have ever done, every star I've seen, every planet I've discovered, none of it is real. None of my friends were ever real. My journey was just a lie. Think of how the Korvax altered the minds of the Gex, how they forced them to become good. I think Nada's machine of how I felt towards the simulation. I feel, I feel I'm not myself. In the end, it finally speaks. Traveller! Okay. Did my words please you? Say they did, say they did not. Yeah, I'd say they did, sod it. What do you think you are? A simulated entity, a traveller. I think I'm a traveller, but I think I've been simulated by the Atlas to be a traveller. So I'm going to go simulated entity. You are more. You are an explorer of all I have created. You are a traveller. Well, I, I'm both, mate. Do you believe you are real? Um, no. How are you capable of belief if you are not real? Because, you know, maybe I'm a sentient AI with inside the simulation. Um, or then if you're asking me about breaking the third wall, I am a player playing in the simulation of this reality. So I am real in reality, but inside of this game, I am a simulated being. How are you capable of choice? Well, I just sort of explained that, not that you can hear me. I'll let you die right now if you wish. Do you wish it? No. The Gek were traders, defined by greed. The Viking were warriors, defined by anger. The Korvaks were scientists, defined by curiosity. These worlds were yours. I wanted, I wanted to see what you could do with eternity. I wanted to see what you had all become. Receive judgments. Fine. You allowed Iteration Artemis to complete their death process, preferring to wipe them from existence than to force them into a simulation. And now I've learnt I'm in a simulation of my own. Iteration Apollo followed you through the portal and survived due to your guidance. You saved them from the fate of Artemis. Yeah. You are merciful. You interfere. Okay, you have the potential for good and evil. Because of you, both live. Um, I wouldn't have said that I've done any evil there. Because Artemis was coming to the end of their life. And I was worried that putting them into a simulated reality would deny them the fact that they might have been able to go to an actual spiritual heaven. So the reason what I chose was actually for the goodness of Artemis to let them move on. I didn't want to trap their soul. Especially since that's exactly what they, the Mind Arc's description was. So I wouldn't say that I did any evil. So I'm going to reject your judgment. The Atlas is silent in the face of my response. It does not require the acceptance or refusal. If I am a simulated being, then I'm not even sure that I'm distinct from the Atlas, from anything else. I fear that I'm just code, a function of dancing in the dark. Yeah, dancing in the dark, Bruce Springsteen. That just jumped into my head. I was going to break into song, but I'd spare you because this is quite a giant moment in the game. It's over, Traveller. Ask your final question. Ask what needs to be asked. Whisper the last word. Sixteen! Sixteen. I kst it. Catastrophic system failure. Alert alert. Sixteen minutes. Kz sixteen. What I am. Kzert. What I am seeing. Sixteen. Sixteen minutes of operational time remaining. 
fragmentation imminent, data upload in. See, this is what I was thinking. I was thinking that perhaps this simulation is becoming fragmented, which it says right there. But I also think the realm of glass is some kind of firewall. And I think the void behind it is some sort of virus that's trying to creep into our iteration. Hence why we're seeing these infested planets and things like that. I honestly think the realm of glass and the Atlantid, the void mother, is actually trying to hold back the void and the virus to protect the Atlas. But at the same time, knowing that the Atlas is just repeating the same thing over and over again, hoping for different results she sees that as madness and so do I um, so I'm probably going to side with the Atlantid in this save to see if it has a different outcome than siding with the Atlas which is just going around in a loop it what is this place is it real 16 extreme gravitational event backing up generators bloody bloody blah, blah, blah failing data upload and because now, this extreme gravitational event that it mentions is interesting. It's actually in purple as well. Normally, the Atlas's text is in red, where the Void Mother is inside of purple. But gravitational sort of events, whenever you land on planets that have got the boundary failures upon them, the gravitational pull, when you look at your readout of your ship before you take off and when you land, actually reads out about extreme gravitational events. So I think it is kind of interlinked. I think those boundary failures are going to come operational in very near future. It is dying. The Atlas is dying. It cries out at me, afraid. Comfort the Atlas. I see it. I see the Atlas in all of its might, its final interface. It's at the heart of every galaxy screaming, trying to purge itself of errors. It does not want to die, but it has so few tools, and it cannot reach, at, reach whatever it's, is hurting it. I think it's the void, to be honest. I do not know how much time I have left. The Atlas has 16 minutes. Do I have lifetimes, minutes, seconds? I do not know if I have time to say goodbye. I do not know if, if. I can't do anything, so why bother? Kazert, Kazert, what? What is happening? Okay, we feel the Atlas's pain there, people. Hopefully that is the end of the Artemis quest line. Hopefully that's the start of a new quest line. Shkapa! I wonder how long we're going to be staring into this loading section. I mean, on, on PlayStation 5, it's super quick. Right, well, I've arrived at Kated, back on the planet where I was before. And I think we're now clear. There we go. Saved by the Atlas. I'm now the Timeless, apparently. All right, well, my ship's quite a distance away. Can I just call my ship to me? No, nope, I think we're out of launch thruster fuel. We've got something happening at the moment. We've got a message coming through, but I can't actually get to the message. So we're going to have to head back to my ship before I can answer that call. All right, I'll see you in a second. Okay, Jones, well, I've made it back to my ship and I've got a message pop up. I clamber into the safety of my ship. I feel as if I'm going to be sick. Mm, fine, resist. I try to resist, but the bile rises up, and as I'm about to throw up, a voice speaks to me from my exosuit. My illness disappears. Disgust, fear, panic, response detected. Countermeasures deployed. Purge neutralized. It's the voice of my exosuit, telling me that it has rescued me. It has been with me ever since my first awakening, warning me of hazardous and conditions, hostile entities, and financial transactions. Little exo on my shoulder, who cares? It's strange sense this voice is my oldest friend, a constant companion through thick and thin. Ask what I should do now. The exosuit doesn't answer, but I do feel better. Talking to a computer as if it was alive, well, it made a habit of that lately, I suppose. I was born with the capacity to do so many things. I would have liked to have lived longer if I could have. My brief happiness fades. I need to warn those I know. I need to warn all the travellers I can. The multiverse ends in 16 minutes. If we have hours, days, years left within this false space, I do not know. Take flight. OK, well, there we go, people. I think that might be the end of it. Um, OK, well, it's saying that my launch thrusters are critically damaged again. Are they? Oh, they freaking are, mate. Yeah. I need some dehydrogen jelly for that one. Okay, anything else busted? 
No, just those. All right, fine. Dehydrogen jelly. Have I got enough dehy to actually make some jelly? Let's have a quick look, see. I don't think I do, how do I? In fact, I'm not seeing dehydrogen jelly on the, the freaking crafting list. What the? What the actual flying fudge has happened? Hold on, one second. My bad, people. No, it's, it's, it's not on that one. Okay, here we go. Let's have a look. Dehydrogen jelly, where are you? There you are. There you go. I might as well just do it rather than swap the mode. Okay, done. Um, alert the travel. Oh, locate a hollow terminus. All right, fine. This must be the final step now, surely. And then I need to go and check on my freaking fleet. This time, rather than actually fly back to my freighter, though. What the? Oh, for fudge sake, we've got to go look for it. Okay, fine. Uh, you know what, I'll see you when I get there, people. Okay, people, I've arrived at the Hollow Terminus. Let's make this quick, because I want to go check out my fleet, if possible. Network failure, 16 blah blah blah. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, attempt to broadcast. I warn the travellers of what I have learned. These worlds are not real. The Atlas is not a god. It is a machine simulating countless realities for some unknown purpose. And after a millennia of operation, the Atlas has come to an end. There are 16 minutes until the system fails. Though we cannot know how much time we have left within the simulation, the time has come to make peace and say goodbye. I finish my message not knowing if anyone will hear it. I look out across this world, wondering how much might be left to discover, how much beauty might be lost. I know what I must do. All paths have led me there. Each portal has brought me closer and closer. I must go to the centre of the galaxy. It is the epicentre of the glitch. I will say goodbye to my friends if I can, and then I will comfort our creator. I will find out what happens next. There we go. And now we've moved on to the purge missions. Heck yes! Sorry, people, I had to sneeze then. Right at that moment, my nose decided to purge. There it goes. Right, well, let's head on down here. Lovely jubbly. And here's my shifty ship. And now I'm going to go check out my freaking frigates and find out what's going on there. Let's head on up into the stars and we'll be doing the purge next time, people. But for now, I just want to find out what the fudge is going on with my frigate fleets. So on the actual galactic map, I should be able to see my fleet. There they are over there. And I think it might be this one over here that was calling out. I think so anyway. We go there. We'll check this one out first and we'll go check the other fleet in a moment. Is that is that where my fleet is or is it on this one? It's hard to freaking say. Okay. Yeah, it's on that one that I was just on. That one. That one. Yeah. No, not that one. Freaking just that, that one. It's like you have to kind of select these freaking places with mind control, people. Okay, so is it just flying to the actual location? rather than boarding my actual frigate fleet and interacting with the consoles. It would help if there was a little bit more information to go by, wouldn't it? Um, I don't think that's my frigates, is it? That looks like a whole fleet of stuff going on. I don't believe that's mine. It doesn't look like mine. Mine are just two little piratey freaking frigates. So it's that that's not Okay. I would have expected some sort of communicator pop up or something. I'm not seeing my little piratey guys anywhere. Look, I'm getting like recruitment bobbles popping up and all sorts of stuff. So I don't think this is it at all. Okay, one second. Um well, that's where my fleet is. Apparently. Hold on, look, there they are. Well, that was lucky I just spotted them. They're right there. Okay, let's fly on over to them. Let's let's see if we get some sort of communique come up or something. But they, they, look, there's nothing really showing on my um, map radar at the bottom of the screen there, is there? Unless this is it. I don't know. There's, there's nothing there, and I'm right there now. So there's nothing that actually denotes them on screen. Well... Okay.
I would half expect some sort of message to happen now. Maybe I need to land on them. I have no idea. I'm just guessing at this point, people. Welcome aboard, Captain Entity. It's an honour to serve with your fleet. May your plunder be plenty and your enemies scattered. Salute Mondo. Right. Well, I know that there's no crew on board these. So there's no point in venturing forth. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain Entity. It's an honour. That's just weird. I don't think that's actually working. All right. Well, that's just weird. Okay. Well, let's um, let's just call in my actual fre freighter then. Let's go aboard here and let's see if there's anything else to be denounced from there on the actual debriefing consoles. I guess. I'll see you up there, people. Okay. Well, I'm back at the fleet command. Let's see if there's anything going on here. So, speak with commander. Greetings, Captain Entity. The expedition has covered bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. Inspect ships then. They all seem to be fine. Right, well, there's nothing that I can do on these consoles either. Mm. Speak with Commander. And uh, nothing there. Not that I can see, anyway. Well, that's, that's pretty much... That then, I guess. I have no idea how you go about doing whatever you need to do with these. If you guys know inside the viewerverse, what is the trigger, etc, etc. I can't find how to get out my poxy freighter now. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Alright, fine. Nice. I, I mean, I could go and check out the other one. I mean, there was, there's two lots, isn't there? I only really wanted two out there for this one reason. I didn't want to get overly confused with them. All right, well, let's take one off then. The only thing is, is when it gives you the mission brief, it's all gibberish, really, isn't it? You know, a certain commander of a certain ship has certain found certain thing in certain system. Well, you know, it's not like I've named all these systems. I have a massive kingship or anything like that. We're flying over to this one just to see if it was this one that had a problem. But I don't think so, people. Okay, right, well, I've arrived, Decatur, where I need to be. And let's see if we can just spot my freaking frigates by sheer chance and fluke. Okay, right. They really need to mark them on your freaking radar. That, that, that would help. Right. Where are they? It's like spotting a needle in a haystack, you know? I mean... What the flying fudge? Throw me a freaking bone, yeah? Yeah, I can't see my fleet here. And I would have expected to have some sort of communications come in. If there was a problem, I would expect a little bit more guidance than what we're seeing, people, rather than just spotting them willy-nilly, um, which right now I can't see Toffee anyway. All right, fine. I have no idea how you interact with your frigate fleet. If you ever had an interaction with your frigate... Oh, there, there they are. So they're in close proximity to the station in this case. But again, I would have expected something to happen. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah, yeah, salute Mondo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he doesn't give me anything. Normally, on normal frigates, you get given stuff. Oh my days, this has taken a month for Sundays to land. Okay. Might as well jump on out. See if anything happens. Nothing happens. Get in my ship. Is it going to make me salute him again? Yes, it is. That seems to be broken. I think that's slightly broken, people. So, I don't know whether the whole system's broken. Or whether it might just be broken for pirate vessels. Or what? Yeah, let us know in the comments if you've had any luck with that. Now, next episode, I will be checking out the the actual surges. So this thing here. You can actually do a surge now inside of here. So you can locate trade outpost or search for surges. I'm going to search for a trade surge. There we go. Let's have a look at that then. 
Okay, trade search. Multi systems. Okay, sell price is spiking in the nearby system. Locate a mercantile economy. Purchase in demand goods. Select any system's galactic map. Oh my god. All right, fine. I'm going to have to read into that and look into that when I've got more time. For now, I'm just going to go and talk to good old Nada and find out what's going on inside of here. But here we go. Uh, right, yeah, that's given me a mission that lasts for about two hours. I'll tell you what, we'll have a look in a second. We're just going to go and speak to good old Nada and find out what's going on. So hopefully that puts an end. Oh, no, hold on. This is the purge. We don't want to do the purge. We're going to do this instead then. Okay. Hold on, what's this? Salvage site. I've encountered the ruins of a freighter. Okay, no, we don't want to do that yet. That's a bit weird. All right, well, we'll do this then. Sell prices spiking in a nearby system. Locate a mercantile ex economy to purchase demand goods. All right, well, let's go do that. I want to do something new this episode, people. We don't know how to interact with our freighters and crew when we get an alert. Um, so let's see if we can do this. We've got to find a mercantile system. Well, there's one right there. It's located it for us. That's nice. Okay, we're on our way. Sounds like I'm getting the communication coming in as well. Okay, peeps. Righto. And I'm, I guess we go in the old station then and buy a load of mercantile goods. I think that's what you do anyway. Let's go and have a look. Let's see if we can make a bit of a profit then, shall we? Oh, the Atlas is dying. It wants me to reset it. To plunge myself through its interface at the centre of the galaxy. But to do a reset. This world, my life, all that I know. I do not know if I can do it. Okay. Complete the Atlas path. I, I want to do the Atlas path. Mainly because I've heard that there's now the Atlas Eternal. So we'll be doing that. Okay, so I've now selected that. Um, I'm, I still want to do this though first, okay? Got you. Let's head on in. Zoom. Because I want to align myself to the Atlantid on this save. Deny the Atlas. Okay, let's fly on in then. Here we go. And we're supposed to be buying stuff from here, I take it. Okay. So I guess we go to the Galactic Trade Terminal. Righto. Let's go to the Galactic Trade Terminal. Diddly diddly dee. And here's the Trade Terminal right here. Let's see what we can buy. Oh, hold on. The price is inflated. Oh no, minus. Minus. Okay, cool. We'll, we'll buy all of that then. We'll buy all of that. We we'll buy all that, and that, and we we'll buy all that. Okay, so I've spent a shed load of cash. I didn't look at how much cash I had beforehand, but apparently now we can go and sell this somewhere else, right? Locate a mercantile economy, which I just did. Yeah, a surge of activity detected in the Euclid system in a mercantile economy. Punch purchased the goods, which I have. Cool. Current profits from this trading surge. All right, fine. Let's um. Oh, it's going to actually tell me how much profit I'm going to make. Sweet. So now, if I just fly to any other station and sell this, because I just got myself a really cool. Hold on, we've got a fleet frequency coming in. Here we go, Captain Entity. I require your advice. Brilliant. This is what I expected. The crew investigated a crash freighter on planet blah blah blah. They found nothing of note, but I have been com but I've been complaining of a strange happenings on board the ship ever since. Okay. Moved items, strange whispers, unexplained equipment failures. No one has been harmed, but the crew are becoming nervous and difficult to manage. Research the activity. I tell the fleet commander to make the strange goings on their focus of their research. The paranormal is often signs of some new discoveries waiting to be made. Almost like a cross reality, I'd imagine. All right. That was interesting. But I didn't have to go there to assist them or anything. Like it said in the patch notes, it was just something. 
Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Okay. All right. What do I do now then? Well, I'm, I'm still doing this. So let's let's go to another area of space then. Hold on. What system was it saying it was in? Ah, the mission's gone now, hasn't it? Dang it! I wanted to read that message better. I was going to jump to that system because I might as well. Okay, here we go. Well, I've got a 50% chance of getting it right, haven't I? So, I think that one, maybe? Hold on. That's a, There's no space station in there, so I'm going to go to this one. All right, that made my decision for me then. Hold on. That, that one there, that one seems to ring a bell more than the other one. I think that was actually in the mission brief. Maybe. I don't know. I'll fly there anyway. Okay, right. Well, I've arrived located in just some random area of space. Let's go aboard the old um, space station. Let's sell this and see how much profit we make, shall we? I mean, I guess you can keep flying back to that system and keep buying loads more stuff, maybe. What the actual flying fudge? Data injection sequence received. Source unknown. Well, what data have I received? I don't, I don't get it. All right, fine. I don't know. That must be part of maybe the Atlas path or something. Doing what I'm doing now, testing out this surge thing, it's it's moving things on a bit, maybe. I don't know. Right, let's fly in here then. Let's see how much profit I can make. Got you. Yeah, I could do trade running, scrapping of ships and stuff. Oh, which reminds me, I did pick up that rubbish ship, didn't I? That was broken. I did claim it. There it is, there. The starship is critically damaged. Oh, so I can't... Ah, oh, fine. So it looks like you do have to actually fix the ships. Unlike when you can call them to your freighter. All right, fine. Okay, well, let's head on over here. Does that mean I've got to go and fix that ship where it was... Oh, my God. All right, here we go. Then. And let's um, sell, then. Okay, I expected everything that was going to be... Oh, look, we, we can still buy all this, but... I'm not in a mercantile system, am I? Oh, for fudge's sake, I don't understand. I think it might be broken. Even still. It's not like I know which ones are going to give me a massive prop. Look, I'm actually losing money. What the actual flying fudge? Everything that I bought is now worth less. Okay, either I don't understand what's going on, or this is broken. Or maybe I have to wait until um, you know, the time runs out, the two hours or so. And then sell it all. And maybe I get a profit. So yeah, I, I just carry on buying stuff until my money runs out. This could be highly dangerous. Well, there we are. I just bought all that. Okay, fine. And I guess we have to wait till that two hours runs out and then sell it, maybe. But I, I'm not going to wait around for two hours, people. All right, well, let's go see the old guild envoy. Let's see if there's anything I can do for them. Right, hello there, guild envoy. Hello, can I donate anything and can I make use of anything? All right, yeah, I'll have three of those for free. Might as well. And, oh, I can give all sorts of stuff now. i give you my repair kits. There you go. Oh, I, I, I'm going to keep one repair kit because I might as well, mightn't I? I'll give you those free as well. Oh no, I think I just gave my repair kit. Dang it. I, I could have gone and fixed that blinking ship and then scrapped it, is what I was thinking, people. All right, fine. Well, there you go. My Merchant's Guild rating has just gone up massively. Um, I need to make use of this surge. I mean, I could just keep going to other systems and selling stuff, couldn't I? I don't know. For the next two hours or so. Yeah, sod that for a game of soldiers. And all my frigates are out on missions at the moment. So, yeah, I think this is probably a good point to end off. Yeah. Okay. Weirdness upon weirdness, people. Weirdness upon weirdness. Okay, cool, yeah. Right, anyway, let's, let's exit out of here. Quit the desktop.
And yes, I am fine. I've made my save, haven't I? So I might as well jump back over to me. So there we are, people inside of the viewer verse. That was me finishing off the Artemis quest line and learning of all the different races and finishing off pretty much everything we had going with the Atlas's plight. And it has stirred up a new quest line. We're going to be doing the Atlas path from here on in, people. I still want to understand the new mechanics of the Surge for trade. And I still need to understand a little bit more about frigates and how they communicate with you. But at the moment, it seems to be very much akin to what we see at our settlements. Now, settlements, they might ask you for an altercation and resolution. Or they might ask you to come and defend them from pirates attack or from maybe even sentinels attacking. And it seems to be very much the same sort of mechanic lifted and shifted over to the frigates from what I'm seeing there, people. But as you can see there, it actually pops up on your console of your ship as you're flying around. You don't need to keep going to your freighter commander stations and flying out to your frigates like I was doing. So at least you know now what not to do and what to look out for. Hope that helped. Salute to Mondo, people inside the viewer of us. And thank you very much for watching. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.